welcome. This is Christian from Vision 6D. In this lesson, we are going to see how to solve situations when resources are overallocated. Overallocated resources means that they work more or they are planned to work more than the maximum hours they can provide per day. Here I have a CRM project with different stages in it. Over allocation, you will see, is notified by those red uh, figures here. And it says when you slightly go over it, this task has over allocated resources. What I want to see with you is what is happening here in this area. There are more over allocations in that project, but for the moment, I just want to stay on those ones which are here. So the first view that we can have in which we show and see over allocation is the Gantt chart view. But there is another interesting view that is also important is resource usage. As you can see, I have other resource over allocation, but I go down to the one that interests me. So it's here, it's integrator two that has over allocation here. You see that um, we can even see here where the over allocation is happening. What it means it's in your views, you must might be far away outside. You have to scroll down horizontally here to, to find where are the red spots. How you understand this, it's here in white, you find how many hours is expected the resource to work on the task, and here is the summarized, the total number of hours. Meaning that that integrator here is supposed here to do during eight hours on that day, which is here, you can see the days here up, Monday, Tuesday. So on Tuesday, he is expected to do eight hours of test and at the same time to follow eight hours of training. So which, of course, is not possible. And you see that this schema is repeated for several days. So we have really a collision between training and test of the user interface. So how to solve this? So for that, we go back to the Gantt chart. We make sure we are really on the right spot which is here you you see and here i go on the resource and that resource i do a right click and you see here three things are appearing the first one is fixing task inspector it means that we will launch the task inspector after that it's possible to reschedule to an available date and then after it's a possibility also it's to ignore the the situation there might be times when you need to have people making overtime so uh, as well as other resources like machines and things like that so this could be a solution so i will now go what happens if we reschedule to a avail available date you see that what happened is that the task was splitted. You see it here. So when the resource was available, it started to work and then it jumped to the training. And once the training is finished, it jumped back to integrate to, to doing the test of the user interface. So this is one elegant way to solve it. It might not exactly be what you would like to, to have. We will now look at another way to solve this. So we right click again and we go into the task inspector. We click on fix in task inspector. And you see here that uh, it went down. It isolated our part. And of course, it's this task which will be either we reschedule the task or we enter the team planner. The team planner, you must pay attention that this is available from version 2016. So if I click here and I say reschedule the task, we'll see what happens. It's exactly the same as what we had seen before. Like that, we see it. If now I choose to work with the team planner, we'll see what happens. 
and it has here opened the team planner. I can right click here, you see, and I can say first what is interesting is scroll to task and here I see where there are overlapping situations. The team planner shows you all the available resources. The one in red are of course those having over allocations and you have another possibility here by right clicking you see you can say level resource. So I will act on this and you see that in the same way it did split the task. So in our example here we had three solutions where each time the action brought us to more or less the same situation with a bit of the work being done before the task being split and shifted on the right. Another way to solve this is to go into here the resource. We always keep here selected the task we want to change. And you see here that we have the possibility to act and to say level the resource. So I will act on this and a pop-up is opening and asking me which resource do I want to level. Since in that task I had just one assigned resource, it was able to select it. So if I say level now, you see that something different happened. It's that the training was here split in two parts and moved. So this could also be a solution, but now uh, we can enter one point that we need to discuss. Whenever you use those tools, you must be really aware of what's happening into your project. Meaning that in that case, of course, uh, over allocated resources have disappeared, which is fine. But what does it mean in reality? It means that the training at one point stops because integrated two is going to do something and then the training can continue. In some certain circumstances, if you have an in-house training, maybe it's possible to say to the trainer, oh, we split it in two, let's start the next week from Friday or Thursday, something like that. If you have called in some trainer and fixed a long time ago the training, this is a solution that isn't possible. You cannot just like that split and tell the trainer that after two days he has to go and come back three days later on after the weekend. So you must really be aware with those tools what's happening in your project. If you're unhappy with the result, you can always come here up and say clear leveling. And here you could say some selected tasks where you've done the leveling and since it's the only leveling we've done it's fine if we leave it on entire project. I remove it and you see that we are back in our conflicting situation. I went down a bit in my project. Here we have uh, all the over allocation of integrated two and here we have over allocation due to uh, project manager one. So what I want to show you here, it's that here there is a possibility to level all over allocated in the entire project at once. So we'll act on this and you see that everything has been moved. Uh, of course, uh, you, you have again to go and look what really happened, what was the, the situation where it was moved because it might affect the reality of your uh, project. So once you are happy with this, you can just leave it as such. Or once again, you can come back, clear leveling of the entire project. With this, I think that we've seen the over allocation process and the possibilities, different possibilities you have to level them with the inspector or directly in the resources. Now it's time for you to try this, uh, to make surely certain mistakes, it's how we learn, 
So I can just wish you a good time. I hope you enjoyed it. If you liked it, you can thumb up. You can also, if you want, subscribe to my channel. And I wish you all the best and have a good time. See you soon. Bye.